What up YouTube, Zach here, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pop Culture Cases series. Today we'll be breaking down the story of Mr. Bursky, who you might remember as JD's very first patient from the very first episode of Scrubs. The reason I picked this for our first case is because when it comes to portraying life as a doctor, Scrubs is actually pretty close to the mark. While it sometimes got lost in zany slapstick or sentimental dross, the early episodes capture really well not only the fear and the misery, but the joy and the camaraderie of life as a junior doctor. I watched my first day the day before my first day, and over the course of my first few weeks I probably lived every scene in that episode at least once, and sometimes more than once. There's a lot to like in this episode, but today we'll be talking about this guy, Bursky, JD's very first patient. But let's break down his case. Bursky comes in because he's got bad gas. It's never really made clear what this is, but for the time being we'll assume it's abdominal pain, and that his first name is Methuselah. When examining Mr. Bursky, JD notes a systolic murmur and decides to admit him for further tests. For more information on how to identify murmurs, you can check out our video on identifying murmurs. The link is right there. In a man of Mr. Bursky's age, a systolic murmur is most likely due to aortic stenosis. So this week, we have a whole video series for you on that. When JD says further tests, he's probably talking about an echocardiogram. Now that's an ultrasound of the heart, and would probably diagnose definitively any murmurs that he might have. Unfortunately, we never get to find out the results. Later in the episode, JD is called to Mr. Bursky's room while on call. Mr. Bursky has died, supposedly, of a pulmonary embolism. That's a blood clot on the lungs. Now this could very well, in real life, cause sudden death like this. And it's likely unrelated both to the heart murmur and to the abdominal pain that he was presenting with. As Laverne puts it, No way anyone could have caught it. Speaking from my own experience as a junior dealing with death for the first time, this pretty much hits the nail on the head. Deaths like this are cruel and sudden, often coming unexpectedly in the middle of a busy day. As JD puts it, the hardest bit is just how quickly you have to move on. But with the help of those around you, you will. Anyway, check out our series on aortic stenosis and make sure that you subscribe. And let us know what cases you'd like to see us cover next. Until then, stay classy, YouTube.